Hey YouTube, time for a shrimp update. Alright YouTube, just coming at you with an update on all my shrimp tanks for the month of uh, June 2016. And we'll just get started here. I'll just show you each of the tanks and what's going on. Um, this is the uh, A through S grade crystal red tank. Still uh, got a ton of breeding going on in here. Um, and uh, a lot more adults. Um, I've, uh, you know, purposely made sure that um, I'm letting some of the juvies grow out to get to the adult stage so that when the adults do uh, pass on and turn over, I've, I've got continuous adults available. Um, to breed um, so um, but yeah things are going great in this tank um, the uh, mini Christmas moss is, is really taken off um, so um, can't don't have a whole lot more to say I guess about this but things are doing good I'm constantly seeing babies constantly seeing buried females and uh, these are uh, shrimp that are available for sale if anyone's looking um, Ooh, there's a higher grade one that I need to call out of there. Um, so if, if you are looking, um, let me know. Um, as I go through all my tanks, I'll let you know if I've got, uh, if shrimp in that tank are available for sale. Also the Christmas moss is available as well. Uh, next door here, kind of a, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a junk tank or what, but right now, um, this is the tank where my uh, crystal black colony was that was really thriving and then died. Um, it's been a handful of months now. Uh, the two crystal blacks that are left are in here and then I put um, four or five PRLs that were um, what was left in my upstairs PRL tank that crashed. And then uh, four or five Royal Blue Tigers out of my Royal Blue Tiger tank. Just to see if we can't get some breeding going on here and maybe create some Thai bees. Um, so that's what I've got going on in this tank. A um, bunch of Subwasser tang and uh, Fissidens in this tank. Um, so if you're looking for any of those plants, let me know. The higher grade Crystal Red tank. Um, right here is doing fairly good. Um, I, I did have kind of a, I don't want to say a big loss, but I did notice the numbers dwindle recently. I did ship some out as well, but in addition to that, um, I'm not sure the numbers have kind of gone down, so I don't know what's happening there. I got to get a hold of that just to make sure. But um, I did see a couple of buried females just yesterday in here, so um, things are looking up on that. I think that's one of them back there. I don't know if you can see that right now. Between those two branches, there's a... Uh, I'm not gonna be able to zoom in good enough, but anyway, um, that's what I got going on in that tank. Um, the PRL tank right next door, things are going really well too. Um, got a ton of PRL in this tank. Uh, they're breeding like crazy. These are available if anyone's looking. Um, just hit me up email is uh, in the description on my main YouTube channel page and then uh, if I remember I'll put it in the description below this actual video. Some babies going on here in the uh, mini Pelia. Um, some more back there in those crypts. Um, so yeah these are all Ellen Wang E2 um, line I should say they're not all Ellen Wang E2 some of them are but sorry about that my battery went dead uh, so the video did cut off there um, but what I was saying was these shrimp are all from an E2 line they're not all E2s but I bought Daryl um, from DET Aquarium I bought his entire colony and his original shrimp were Ellen Wang E2s and some of those original shrimp were still in here and uh, so all of these have been uh, bred from E2s and no other line of PRL has been introduced to this line. So, so they're, they're good shrimp. Um, and uh, like I say, I, I will be making these available if anyone's interested. So hit me up. Um, next door here, we've got the Taiwan V tank, the first of two. Um, these are all Taiwan bees that uh, came from DET Aquarium. 
I haven't mixed anything else in with these. I wanted to keep these separated. Um, they're doing real well. Um, I've seen babies here and there, but um, they don't ever really seem to survive. So I need to try to figure out what's going on there and just continue to, to be patient and work with these. There's almost always at least one, if not more, buried uh, female in this tank. Um, you know, I've got a mixture of uh, Blue Bolts, Shadow Pandas, Pandas, Extreme BKK, BKKs, uh, Red Bolts, uh, Goldens, or whatever you want to call them, um, Wine Reds, and Ruby Reds. And so, um, things are doing real well. Um, I just would, oh, there is a baby right there that I can see right next to this uh, Panda up there. It looks like a little Shadow Panda, possibly crawling down that kind of hole in the rock there. So as you can see there, oh, and there's another one crawling up the back, same kind of general area. So there are babies from time to time. Another one up here. It's kind of neat how when you get close by the camera, sometimes you see stuff that you don't see normally. But anyway, um, so that's what's going on with this tank. A couple of the red bolts background there. This extreme BKK here is nice, and then I've got a smaller one somewhere. Sometimes I think he's gone or dead, and then he appears. Can't seem to locate him right now, but anyway. Uh, down below is my other Taiwan B tank, and these are Taiwan Bs from several sources. Same story as the tank above. I've seen buried females, I've seen babies in here, but uh, nothing ever seems to materialize when there are babies, so got to get our hands on that and figure out what's going on. There's one smaller one that looks like uh, it has survived, a baby that's survived because I didn't have any that small. He's crawling into the mosh pit now, but so that's a good sign. Same story here too, um, blue bolts, red bolts, um, panda shadow pandas, wine reds, quite a mix of different Taiwan bees in here. So just keep being patient with these as well. Uh, over here, we'll start at the top of this tank. I changed the substrate out, this used to have white substrate and now I've got uh, uh, black diamond blasting sand. These are um, my Savage Reds, but as you can see, um, they're not real deep red like the Savage Red should be, so um, I'm not going to really be able to market them as Savage Reds unless, uh, you know, some of the babies uh, come out looking better. Um, but these are these guys are breeding uh, quite a bit. There's babies all over this tank. Um, there's a few on this uh, clay tubing right there. Um, I've got one or two orange-eyed blue tigers left in this tank, but I just placed an order um, with BiPetShrimp.com, uh, Eric Lucas, and so I'll be uh, getting uh, some more of those to add to this tank. And their colors will look a lot better than before too. Now that I've got the black substrate. So, but anyway, that's what's going on there. A uh, Royal Blue Tiger tank is just uh, crazy as usual. They breed constantly. Um, I've sent out probably 50 of these uh, um, recently, um, selling them like mad. I'm going to have to slow down on that soon, but I could probably uh, get rid of a few more 10 packs of these right now. Um, but I don't want to deplete the colony and, and then kind of lose it all, but um, yeah, they're doing really good. So if you're looking for any of these, let me know. I got a couple of red reallys mixed in there. Um, down below here is the Tiger and Painted Fire Red tank. I've got to call some of the Painted Fire Reds, um, some of the babies. Um, Aren't, uh, aren't real deep red. Um, I may leave them in there just to see if they get better as they grow, but these are decent painted fire reds. They're not um, the greatest, but uh, we'll continue to work with this colony and see where it goes. 
Uh, the tigers are finally doing well. Um, I noticed a buried female in here recently. I don't happen to see her right now, but so looking forward to having some tiger babies. These are just the regular tigers. See quite a bit of quite a bit of action in this tank. Um, a lot of breeding, a lot of good stuff going on in there. Down below are my crystal blacks. I have been advertising these uh, available for sale now too. I'm not going to sell a ton of them, but I can I can part with some. They're doing real good. This colony took a long time to start to really mature, but uh, things are going well. And I'm really glad to see these guys doing good. Um, down below here, behind this sticker that I've had on here for so long, I need to take off. It's still the original sticker. Came with the tank, but laziness sets in sometimes. I've got the carbon rillies. I'm looking to sell this entire colony. It's not a real big colony because I've sold quite a bit off already from it, but there's 20 to 25 left. If you're looking to buy some carbon rillies, let me know. We'll work out a deal for the entire colony. This tank is empty right now. It was my green jade tank, but I decided to change the substrate to black. So I'll show you the green jades. They're in a temporary tank upstairs right now. I'm just waiting for this to make sure all the parameters uh, fall into line. Um, I don't want to put the shrimp back in here. Um, it's It didn't go through any type of a mini cycle or anything because I used the same water, or most of the same water and the same sponge filter. So I've got a seated sponge. I'm trying to work the TDS up right now to the right uh, amount and just making sure that everything um, stays um, you know stays in line as far as you know the parameters go so up here is my red tiger tank um, they're doing decent uh, we get some babies from time to time I do also have some red rillies in here that I'm gonna get rid of um, it's a long story but when I first set up all these tanks in this little corner here there was a tank that once upon a time had red rillies in it and um, thought they were all gone. I moved some shrimp over and there must have been some babies either that got in my net or were hiding in moss that I uh, moved over. Those babies grew up and they began to breed. And so at first I thought they were um, red tigers, uh, but as they've grown up, um, you can tell they're red really so I'm gonna move those um, out over to the blue tiger tank and the final tank in the basement is my blue dream tank uh, couldn't be happier right now with this I just added some more to my colony recently from a local guy Jeff Lidberg um, but the, the ones that I had prior to that I had three buried three or four buried females and I've had some babies as you can see some of these smaller ones here are starting to grow already um, so that's really nice. Um, really like the blue dreams. Um, they uh, are just a really nice looking blue colored shrimp. So yeah. So I'll take you upstairs to check out the final tanks here. Okay, so we'll start upstairs uh, in my office with the newly started up Tangerine Tiger tank. I've got 20 of these from uh, Jeff Lidberg. They are still fairly new and haven't been taking to food too much yet. These two right here are eating, but um, they're around. They're in the tank. Um, they seem to be doing well. So I'm just kind of uh, being patient with these guys and we'll see what happens. But um, pretty excited to get a good colony of tangerine tigers going. I may add some additional blood from another source. So if anyone out there has tangerines that they're looking to sell, let me know and uh, we'll work something out. Um, over here, as I stay down on the floor, is uh, the yellow neo tank. Um, things are going decent there. I haven't seen a ton of breeding lately. Um, but you can see a bunch of adults here. Some juvies in the tank also. These are um, from a bunch of different sources, so I can't say exactly what type of yellow neo they are. People ask me that and I, I, I don't have an answer for them. They're just yellow and they're neos. So. <laughs> it's 
That's about the best I can do. But they're doing decent. And then up above here is a 90 gallon mixed crystal tank. Um, things aren't doing really well in this tank because what happened is, uh, and I talked about this in my recent uh, fish tank update video, but I had um, lawn shrimp or scuds as you call them, some people call them, and uh, they were just so infested in this tank that I decided to get some pea puffers to eat them, which they did, but in turn they've eaten quite a bit of the shrimp population too, which um, I'm okay with just because I would have rather gotten rid of the pests that way than take the whole tank down and start over. I worked so hard to grow this carpet and everything, so we'll get rid of the uh, pea puffers now and uh, then start restocking with more shrimp, but everything's doing good other than that in this tank. Um, it's just kind of one of those trade-off deals. And then finally my green jades are up here now until we get that tank, uh, make sure that everything's balanced in it. They're doing really good. They're, when I pulled these out, I found a ton of babies. Um, they're breeding well. These are from a few different sources, so I'm pretty happy uh, about how they're doing. You can see they're all over the back of the tank also. This tank is super dirty with algae, so excuse that. But at any rate, these are doing really well as well. It's a nice adult over here. So with that said, that's going to be your update for June on all the different shrimp tanks I've got. Um, if you are new to my channel or this is the first time you're watching my videos, uh, I'd sure like it if you'd subscribe. I put out videos on my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and my reef tank. Um, at least one video a month, sometimes more, so uh, please hit that subscribe and let other, other people know about the channel. Um, also, make sure that you check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their YouTube channel links are going to be below. Make sure you go over to uh, Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and join that group, get involved. It's a great group that um, is for any type of uh, aquatic uh, fish keeping uh, hobbyist, uh, whether it be shrimp, or reef tanks, cichlids, freshwater, anything. Um, get involved with that. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.